In 1899, Rutherford was experimenting with how easily the radiation from powdered uranium went through very, very thin sheets of metal foil. In this detector, the more radiation that's detected, the faster the light moves. With no sheets present, the light goes pretty quickly. When you add a single sheet, it slows down a lot. You'd expect it to slow to almost nothing if you add a second sheet. But in fact, it makes almost no difference. That was very puzzling. Rutherford's conclusion was that radiation consisted of particles, not waves, as most scientists thought. And what's more, there were two types of particle. The first type, shown in red, was stopped by a single sheet. Rutherford called these alpha particles. The second, shown in black, passed easily through two sheets. Rutherford called these beta particles. He was just using the Greek version of the letters A and B. By measuring how alpha and beta particles moved between electrically charged plates, Rutherford could tell that alpha particles were positively charged with a big mass and beta particles were negatively charged with a very small mass. In fact, beta particles behaved in exactly the same way as electrons. Spoiler alert, they are electrons, but as we'll see, they come from changes in the nucleus, not from the outer electrons of the atom. Alpha particles seem to behave like a helium atom with a double positive charge. We know it's actually a helium nucleus, but Rutherford hadn't discovered the nucleus yet. As you can see from these two timelines, all the early discoveries about radioactivity were made before scientists had developed our modern picture of the atom, one with a nucleus at its centre made of protons and neutrons. In fact, scientists could only investigate the structure of the atom using the radiation it produced. So it was a bit of a chicken and egg situation. Several scientists found evidence that alpha particles and helium were linked somehow, but this is the experiment that Rutherford did in 1909. He used a radioactive gas that gave off alpha particles. When the alpha particles hit the walls of the container, they grabbed a couple of spare electrons and turned into ordinary helium gas. Rutherford showed that it was helium by putting a very high voltage across it, a bit like a crook's tube, and then splitting up the light given off into a pattern. It was the same pattern that hot helium gas would have made. There was a third type of radiation discovered by the French scientist Paul Viard at the same time as alpha and beta had been discovered by Rutherford. This was a kind of invisible light, not a particle. The third type was called gamma radiation to be consistent with Rutherford's naming system.